This is the uh, cable entry box for the solar cables. And this one would take the po positive and negative cables into the van through the roof. So when I got this one, I noticed that the box is too wide to sit on top of the ridge of the van. And the bolts would go through kind of the edge of the slope of the rise in this roof. So that was going to be a bit of a problem. So I tried to figure out could I use this or not and it didn't look very good. So I checked a bunch of the other boxes on the uh, on Amazon and they're pretty much about the same width. So uh, even if I just used a masking tape or, or tape to hold it onto the roof, it was still too wide. So my other option would be to go through the the back of the van, through the the box that sits at the back that houses the backup can. Or I sourced this box. This is a single cable entry box, and I'll use two of them, one for the positive and one for the negative. And you can see that it fits very nicely on the ridge of the ProMaster. So I'm going to use some uh, 3M uh, double-sided industrial tape to secure that box on top of this ridge. And have two boxes, one in this location and the other along the ed other, other ridge. I want to attach this cable entry box to the roof of the ProMaster. But what I wanted to do is attach this plastic box to the metal. I didn't necessarily want to drill holes through the plastic, so I needed to get an adhesive to attach this box onto the roof of the van. So I ordered some 3M 5952 double-sided industrial tape. And this is, a, this is a VHB tape, very strong. So I thought I would try that out also. <clears throat> so I took a light fixture, which is plastic. I put a piece of the tape on this corner, or this length of the edge of the plastic. And that is really, I cannot remove that from the metal. So I think this tape is going to work really well in securing this cable entry box to the van.
I uh, also test drilled to see what size a hole I would need to insert a grommet into the hole after I drill the roof of the van. 